YouTube, what is good? Back at y'all with another banger. A new patch drop, and supposedly alley oops were patched. But with this method, you will still be able to throw alley oops effortlessly and get all your playmaking badges by the end of this day, guaranteed. I know this is perfect for a lot of you because a lot of you that make a new player. You probably get all the playmaking badges first because playmaking is usually the quickest and easiest to get. You can argue shooting possibly, but what you're going to do is you're going to call a pick and get your player to face the baseline. Don't get your defender to hit the screen. Just run to the basket and he'll automatically roll and he will get the alley -oop. It is almost unguardable. Now what I recommend is if you're playing warehouse games, get yourself a team where you play with a guy that can get contact alley-oop dunks. Guys that can posterize people. Guys like Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell can posterize people. Because, you know, the computer is a little bit better at contesting these oops. So, if you're just going to throw oops at guys like Clay Thompson or Steph Curry, you know, it's not going to work. And another thing is, try you on the fast break as much as possible. The computer on my team got the steal, which is a first because, you know, the computer on your team doesn't usually make plays but the more you can get on fast breaks the easier because most of the time your computer team will be wide open when you have the ball in your hands in transition the computer is just determined to help on you every single time and they neglect your teammates making for easy assists okay so i really want you guys to understand this you see the thing next to the left stick if he's not facing the way that you want him to Make sure you click the left stick. Wait a second or two, then just immediately drive to the rim and throw the alley -oop, and it'll work 90% of the time. Alright, so you're going to see me getting the stop, putting the clamps on Devin Booker. It's too easy. Harold stole my rebound though. I'm not happy about that. I still need a couple more defensive badges. But I reset and I call the play. I recommend doing this on the wings. I just feel like it's easier on the wings or the baseline. I don't like doing it from the top of the key. And look how easy that is. He was literally wide open. Even though his computer supposedly can defend lobs so much better. I'm still getting lobs with ease. And I already have my playmaking badges max. But if I want to make another player, I can easily get my playmaking badges max in a day with ease. I get the rebound right here. I'm hoping that one of them just going to fast break. They're not always going to do it for some reason, even though it's clearly there. Right here, I'm going to try for the middle just to demonstrate for you guys why I don't like it. Look, it could have gotten stolen or contested easily, and he got a layup. And there's a little theory that if they do a layup, then it's not going to count towards your LU passes. Not sure if that's true, that's just what I've been told since 2K20, so I just ride it. If I don't see a dunk, then I'm not happy. So you see, I'm going to run the play again, Donovan Mitchell, get him to face the way I want, take some time, go straight baseline, and look at how easy that is. Wide open alley-oop dunk. This game's going great. Unfortunately, you're going to see 2K next gen being 2K next gen. Just wait for it. Look at that, man. Complete BS. Let me start the game over and get back to you guys. So right here, you are about to see the point. I say I got my playmaking badges max, so you're not going to be able to, you know, see the badge points go up. But I just want you to look at this. Look at the alley -oop assists and pick a roll assists. I had seven alley -oop assists. You know, they're not going to count all of them. I think it's supposed to cap out at six. I might be wrong about that. Maybe it is four. But, you know, they're not going to count all of them for whatever odd reason. And obviously the pick and roll assist help. I get a playmaking badge every game or every other game. And you will too if you do this method. Now, if I didn't say it in the video already, I will say it once again. Can you do this in my career? Yes, you can do this in my career. It's a little tougher because, you know, help side defense and all that. There's more defenders on the court. But this was the method I did use to get my playmaking badges in past 2Ks. Thanks to Carrying DF. He was the one that showed the method in 2K20 in my career. And it made getting alley oop assists a lot easier. And, you know, it's great to be able to get your playmaking badges really fast. If you are more of a My Career guy, you know, play that My Career 
But I prefer to play the warehouse. I hate my career. It's just something about it. I really do not like it. Warehouse, it's my career, but with a park feel. I actually like playing warehouse for real. Like I can play the play it straight up. Like obviously I'm doing alley oops and stuff for demonstration purposes for this video. But you know, I've been playing for real because all I need is defense and guys do not ask me for a defensive badge method. You know, sometimes I get some blocks on jump shots, which is kind of luck, like that white that John Wall just made. But, you know, I camp rebounds and all that. It's, I don't know, man. Bait for chase downs, bump steals, go for bump steals. It's just, you know, look at, look at that dunk, man. That, that, that's so trash that I missed that. But, yeah, do not ask me for a defensive badge method. That's not going to happen. But I do have a finishing badge method and a shooting badge method. Some other ways you can get playmaking badges, you know, out you persist, regular assist. But I just don't trust the computer to make jump shots. You know, the computer's jump shot is very inconsistent whether they're on your team or not. So I recommend once you get like four, five, six alley oop assists, then just go for your shooting and finishing badges. And I have a method for both shooting and finishing. I will leave them both on the end screen. I also have a badge glitch that I want you guys to check out. So you get unlimited warehouse games. You can play the same team over and over and over again. If you find a matchup that you really like. Or you just want to get unlimited warehouse games. Because you don't want to run out of warehouse games. Before maxing out your badges. Because why get your badges in my career. When you can simply just get them in the warehouse. It's just so much more fun. More convenient this way. Because you know I really 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 hate my career and I know a lot of you hate my career too so that's why I'm telling you guys about the badge glitch so I want you guys to check that out they're all going to be on the end screen check out every last one of them so yeah like I said once you get enough alley -oop assists start going for your shooting badges go for your finishing badges so I know a lot of you make new builds and go for playmaking first because playmaking is the easiest and quickest to get you can argue shooting but I think playmaking is a little faster you see look the unstoppable is stoppable, you know, they're going to tip the pass sometimes, get the steal sometimes. Can't let that discourage you. You see that most of the time I am getting it, and I just chuck up a shot. I, this is my first time playing in weeks, you know, my, my jump shot is rusty, you know. It's just the way it is, man. You know, I haven't played until, uh, but the fadeaway, that's not rusty, you know. You don't need, you know, the warm up, the green of fade. Because, you know, fades are just so damn easy. And I'm talking too much. A lot of you guys probably left the video. But if you're still here, you are a real one. And I appreciate you. If this video helped you out at all, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. I haven't gotten a chance to thank you guys for those that don't have Twitter. For 7,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I appreciate the support. I know I've been inconsistent, inactive. You know, there's a lot of reasons. It'll all make sense in the future. Like, look at that contest. Devin Booker taking some dumb shots. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to make a video about the the state of my channel. Obviously, I am not quitting. Don't worry about that. I am not quitting. I made that clear when I came back to YouTube that quitting is not an option. So, you know, 2K Next Gen, it's a rough time for all the small content creators and even the big content creators. But we're going to fight through it. But yeah, here are the videos on the end screen, man. Like, subscribe once again. I'll see you there, or I'll see you on the next one. But until next time, I am out. Peace!